Hi, I'm Naz. I'm a traveling teacher and artist. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Join me creating at home for the next few weeks with Art Club. We'll be making lots of quirky, colorful and creative items. You can give as gifts or you can keep for yourself using lots of items that you already have at home. So let's get started. So today we are going to be making some foil art. So just using kitchen foil, simple materials, that hopefully you have at hand. And here are some I've made before. So to create your foil art, you will need a few items I'm gonna show you now. First of all, you need some cardboard, just recycled or cereal box. You then need some foil, a scissors, some string or twine, sellotape or masking tape, PVA glue, Some coloured felt in permanent markers would be best, a pencil, a ball and, and a paintbrush. So now you've got all your materials to hand, let's get started. So first of all you need your card and a pencil and we're going to trace around whatever object you've chosen. So whether that's a plate or a ball or anything else. So just take it and hold it down, press it and firmly Take your pencil all the way around that and trace a line so you have a circle cut out. You might decide on a different shape. I like the circle, so I went with that. And then cut that out. Just move this out of the way. So cut all around your cards. And then you'll have your first shape. These are lovely when they are hung, so you could make a group of them if you wanted. So once you've got your card cut, you then decide on your actual pattern. So whether you look outside, I've been inspired by the lovely rainbows that have been going around the places, or whether I want to be at the beach at the moment and the sea, so I've looked at the sun and the sea there. So just keep it simple is the trick as you have to cover this with string shortly. So the simple pattern shapes, nothing too close together, will make it much easier for you to design your foil art. So then, nice and simple, start with your design and your shape. Once you have that, then you're ready to start getting the glue. So take your PVA glue, pop it in a container or bowl if it's easier, and a brush or something to spread it with. And then you need your string and your scissors. Okay. And a trick is just to measure the string across, give it a cut, and then take each of those separately, add the glue on top, and place your string. So this needs a little concentration and focus. So take your time is a trick with this. It's a lovely one to do to just pass the time away and forget about the world for a little bit. If you find you haven't measured it and you want to just cut as you go along, that's fine too. So you're just making sure the string marks it as if it's a pen or pencil line and just keep going until you've done each of your string parts. So when you've finished covering that in string, you can then just leave it to dry for a moment. So just keep going. As you can see, you can get quite into it and just take away all your worries and keep going and creating. So you can make this as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. You can use, you can also create letters or other patterns and shapes like flowers or things in nature are quite nice to look at. OK, 
okay so you can leave the ends until they dry a little bit as they will move as you cut them so it's best to just leave it to dry for a moment have a tea break so once your piece is like touch dry so there might be still a little bit of glue as long as it's sticking to the card you can go ahead and cut any extra pieces off Just push them to the side a little bit. So then you have your piece. So all your strings should be stuck on. Then the next step is to add a little bit more glue. Now the string is holding in place. And then you're going to add your foil. So get your foil ready once you've covered this in glue. So then take your foil, I'm just going to get rid of the crinkly bit, I'll use them for something else. Either cut or tear, I like tearing, I love the sound of it. Up to you, personal preference, whether you use the shiny or the dull side of the foil. Shiny always shows up a lot nicer and reflects. And then just gently start to press on the foil and you'll start to see very slowly your design will start to come through so just take your time now a top tip if you find that you're scared with your fingers or you have long nails you can use a cotton bud like an earbud so if you want to press on the design gently but you're nervous to go too close so you've got long nails this is a really good trick to make sure you can press it all into place so just keep gently pressing on top and you'll start to see your design will come out as if by magic so this you do need a bit of patience and a bit of time with this part but I promise it'll all be worth it keep going and you'll start to see your design will start to show through You want to make sure all the pieces in between the string are really pressed down firmly and your design shows through. Then turn it over and just cut around the edge, leaving about a centimetre or two centimetres up to you that you can just place around the back. I'll show you now. So you should have cut around the foil about a centimetre or two centimetres left and then just press in. As simple as that, it should hold in place. You can use sellotape on the back if you'd like to place it in. So if you find it doesn't press enough, just use some tape around the edge. So there you have your pattern and it's all coming through nice and clear. Your next step is my favourite, is to add some colour. So you decide what colours, you can just go for very uh, simple colours, even if you just have one colour pen, you can do patterns, if you don't want to do block colour. But block colour works really well. So you can add a multicolour rainbow, you can just use monotone and one colour, and you could even add different colours to the string if you want to make things stand out. Make sure you use permanent pen as you want it to last and don't put them in direct sunlight as it will uh, take away the colour. So these are really lovely when they're hung up then. So that's your sunshine. So then we'll just start with the water. But again, use your own designs. Come up with your own ideas, maybe of your walks and things you've seen around. My pens are very well used now, so... So, and there you have it. So you've done your design for the front. Then if you turn to the back, you can tape it in place if you like. You can even put another sheet of paper 
but it doesn't bother me. I like to see uh, how it was created and it's nice to know it was some recycled cardboard. And then take your string and you can use this to create a piece to hang your design. So this is when they're lovely to give as gifts. So you can just make a quick knot in the bottom. Make sure you leave enough for a loop and then this can be hung at home. So make sure you check, not like me then, is on a wonk, where you put your loop that it's correct to your design idea. So then once I hang that, that'll be nice and central. And there you have it. There is your foil piece completed. So you can hang these, you can give them as gifts um, to people that would really appreciate it. So this is your completed foil art. You can send this to friends and family and you can hang these around your home. Um, just keep them out of sunlight and make sure you use permanent pen to make sure it stays as it is lovely and colorful. So um, if you only have one color pen, then you can create patterns and zentangle um, and have fun with that. You can also create your own line of jewelry if you like. So this was inspired by shells and all the lovely rainbows we've been seeing around, just with some string and you could make necklaces or bracelets for people. Um, and then again, obviously, the rainbows that we keep seeing everywhere that are beautiful and up to you what design you do, what shape you do. It could be triangular, it could be square, it could be anything. So this is just an idea for you to have a look at. I hope you've enjoyed creating your foil art with me at home. If you'd like to send me any images of things you've created this week inspired by Art Club, tag in Create With Naz, all the information's in the details. Don't forget to subscribe to this page and share. And I shall see you next week to Create With Naz.